Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, well, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. In January, I did a video where I went into Academy Sports and looked at some of the prices of ammunition. We're at Shields this time. We're gonna do this exact same thing to kind of give you guys some data as to what these big box stores are doing for uh, ammunition prices. Now, I get it. You can go online and you can get cheaper ammunition online. This is data to give you guys some information as to what these stores are because maybe you just don't wanna wait for it to arrive in the mail. Uh, maybe you need to pick up some ammunition on a way to um, a shooting competition or just even to the range. You're like, oh man, I forgot. I thought I had some, I forgot it. There's that. I'm looking at common calibers, so 223, 9 millimeter, 45 ACP, 10 millimeter, um, 22, uh, I already said 223, uh, 22 long rifle, 762 by 39, 308, 65 Creedmoor, and 30 on six. So uh, those are the calibers that I'm looking at, and um, this is not too try to drum up any type of scare as to, oh, ammunition's, you know, freaking getting depleted and we gotta go out and rush the stores and stuff like that. I'm not asking anyone to panic buy it. That's not what we're doing with this video. Again, we're just gonna go into the store. We're gonna take a look at what the prices are at this store and then let you guys make your decision on whether or not you purchase from a big box store or you order online. That's up to you, but let's go into the store and check it out. Okay, I've been to the store uh, before and really liked their prices. I did end up buying a CZ P10C from here and it was a really, really good deal. I have uh, enjoyed being here. It's kind of a fun place. You know, they got this Ferris wheel in the middle of it and everything, so. But when I got up to the ammo, I was actually really surprised at what I saw on the shelves. A lot of stock on the shelves, which is a good, good sign. But the question is, how are the prices? So let's dive into that. We're gonna start with 22 long rifle, and we've got CCI mini mag varmint, 36 grain, coming in at nine cents a round. Blazer, 40 grain, coming in at seven cents a round. Remington, uh, I think they call that the uh, copper bullet, coming in at nine cents a round for a 40 grain projectile. And then you got the Federal 40 grain, 800 round box coming in at seven cents a round. You have the CCI AR tactical, 300 round box at nine cents a round and federal auto match 40 grain coming in at six cents a round. So uh, not a huge selection of 22, uh, 22 long rifle, but um, pretty decent. And then you have a huge selection of pistol calibers on the shelf as well, which was nice. But we had Fiocchi 115 grain, Federal 115 grain, and Blazer Brass 124 grain all three are coming in at 27, 28 cents a round. They say 27, but I think it's 28 cents a round. Moving on over to personal defense loads, uh, they have the Hornady Critical Defense coming in at a dollar three. Um, Hornady American Gunner 115 grain XTP or uh, the 124 grain XTP at 87 cents. Winchester Silver Tip didn't have a price on it, but they also had the Hornady Critical Duty. Uh, coming up here, it's the uh, 135 grain flex lock at $1.50. And they had Federal 124 grain HST coming in at 140 and the Subsonic 147 grain XTP at 125 Moving on over to 45 AARP, we have Federal Punch coming in at $1.10. We also have Federal HST and Winchester Silvertip both coming in at $1.75. Hornady American Gunner, 185 grain XTP coming in at $1.10, and Hornady Critical Duty and Critical Defense coming in at $1.50 a piece. Subsonics coming in at 135, the SIG Elite Defense V Crown, 115, and Fiocchi Defense Dynamics coming in at 175. The Ball, you have Blazer Brass, Fiocchi, Target Max, and Federal all coming in at 50 cents a round, so not too shabby. Basically what you'd expect from a store. Then we got the best millimeter coming up, 10 millimeter. You know, you know we gotta take a look at it. But uh, they got Blazer Brass coming in at 54 cents a round. Remington UMC green and white box coming in at 73 cents a round. 
Then they have some Fioki jacketed hollow points coming in at 80 cents a round, which was uh, pretty nice to see for a personal defense load. Moving on over, we got Hornady American Gunner 155 grain XTP coming in at $1.10 a round. Hornady Critical Defense 175 grain flex tip at $1.60. And then Federal 200 grain HST coming in at $1.90 a round. So moving on over to the rifle calibers. Big selection, huge selection of ammunition over there. We have 5.56 and 2.23, starting with the Winchester M193 and M855, both coming in at 60 cents a round. Uh, it says 59 cents a round, but they're not rounding up like they should. So <laughs> just take that into consideration. But um, they also had some specialty ammo as well. They have the Hornady Critical Defense 223.75 grain FTX. Uh, coming in at 135 and then they also have the Winchester PowerPoint 64 grain 223 coming in at $1.25. They also have uh, 55 grain and 53 grain 223 VMAX coming in at $1.30. And then they had a really nice federal gold medal 77 grain 223 coming in at $1.40 per round. So a little bit of variety there for maybe some precision shooters who like to shoot 223. Now, one of the things that was really surprising was they had 762 by 39. This is the ammo incorporated 123 grain M67 ball coming in at 78 cents a round. My goodness, it is more expensive than 223556. That's crazy. But we're going to move on over to 762 by 51 or 308. We have Winchester M80 ball coming in at $1.10 around. Federal American Eagle 150 grain 308 coming in at $1.15 around. So, um, yeah, not the best, but it is what it is, I guess. Moving on over to Federal Power Shock 150 grain 308. We've got that coming in at $1.35 around. Hornady American Whitetail which is 150 grain interlock coming in at $1.40 around, round, and then Winchester 150 grain deer season XP coming in at $1.75. Okay, so there was a lot of offerings for 6.5 Creedmoor, so I'm gonna go through it as fast as I can. They've got the Hornady Varmint Express 95 grain VMAX at $1.85 around, their VMATCH ELDVT at $2 around, their Outfitter 120 grain CX at $2.10 around, 120 grain Trophy Copper at $2.40 around, their 120 grain ELD match at 190 around, their 125 grain deer season XP and copper impact at 185 around, and then 129 SSTs at 195 around with um, the American Wind, the American Whitetail 129 grain interlock at 140 around. Wrapping it up. Moving on to the last caliber. This is going to be the Boomerot 6. <laughs> They've got the uh, Hornady 150 grain SST at 195 around. Uh, Hornady American Whitetail 150 grain interlock at 140 around. Federal Power Shock at 135 around. Uh, 150 grain Deer Season XP at 175. Winchester PowerPoint at 145. And then Federal Premium 175 ELDX was one of the most expensive rounds on the counter or on the shelf at $2.25 a round. So there was a lot of offerings with 308, 65 Creedmoor, and 30 6 with different weights and uh, brands and obviously different prices as well. So this was just kind of a peanut butter spread of what you might find at this particular location now with all of that being said again this is not to rile anybody up into thinking that uh, you need to rush out and buy ammunition right now there is uh, rumors that prices are going to increase as some of these contracts run out so we are uh, have been alerted earlier this year or late last year that there is going to be a price increase on gunpowder and bullets and primers and all that type of stuff. So we should see a uh, creep in prices throughout the rest of this year. So we'll see what happens with that, but uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. Now, my suggestion is number one, check 
prices online. If you can capitalize on free shipping, by all means do that, but check the prices online and make sure that you understand what the price per round is going to be with tax and with shipping, and then compare that with some of these stores like Academy and Shields and Bass Pro Shop and so on and so forth. Also, don't forget to check out your local mom and pop shops as well. Sometimes they'll give you a good deal, maybe a 10% discount for shopping with them instead of somebody else. I know that's what my local shop does because I'm in there all the time and they love helping support the channel. So I'd uh, really appreciate everybody swinging by and checking this video out. If you guys haven't subscribed, uh, I would appreciate you doing so as well. And if you really enjoy uh, these types of videos, let me know down in the comment section and I'll continue doing them to give you updates and give you more data points. With all that being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thanks again. We will catch you in the next video or check out the podcast link in the pinned comment. Take it easy, guys. Freedom through strength. Bye, y'all.